Hi, I'm the Scrub, and you're here for one reason. Squad 10! Hey, listen up, soldiers! We'll get you through this training facility without wetting your pants like some level 3 sprout that stumbled upon an S rank. Whether you're as sharp as a bowling ball or as smart as Isaac Newton, this guide is here to assist you. Now, Private, finish this dungeon and hit the showers. You smell like Doritos and unwashed hoodie. Time to learn about Halatali Hard. Simplify. Pull everything as you make your way through the dungeon, stopping at the trio of mobs just after the first wooden bridge. Kill everything. Continue down the path and pick up the group of mobs. Then turn right and pick up the extra group of mobs. If you position the enemies underneath one of the giant spike balls, it will give the mobs a vulnerability up debuff, making killing everything a lot easier. After this, move forward and talk to the trainer. He will open the gate, and it's first boss time. There is a mammoth wandering around the outside of the arena that is tethered to a device at the other end of the arena. This will be important for later. The boss will suck you in and perform an untelegraphed giant swing. Just get away from him to avoid the attack. He will then turn to a random party member and cast Eye of the Beholder very quickly, so get back in close to him or behind him to avoid the attack. If you get hit by this, you get the Electrocution Dot debuff, which is a Sooneramble. The boss will then start casting 1000 Ton Swing. This is an incredibly hard-hitting and completely unavoidable room-wide. To counteract this, you will need to interact with the Mammoth Activator, which is the device that the Mammoth is tethered to at the other end of the arena. Once you finish interacting with it, the Mammoth will stop at its tracks and create a blue AoE around itself. After the Mammoth has finished casting the blue AoE, it will give you a giant shield that will help against the attack. If you don't get in the blue AoE in time, you won't get the shield and you might die. The boss will then turn to random players and perform Piercing Glower. This is a straight line AoE, just move to the side to dodge it. From here, the boss will repeat mechanics until it's defeated. Exit out of the open gate and head up the path to talk to the elite gladiator trainer to proceed to the next area. As you move forward, curls will come out of their cages. When you kill one, another one will come out of another cage. Kill everything. Then continue up the stairs, picking up enemies at the top and then follow the stairs down to the right. There'll be more beasts in more cages with a basilisk at the end of the room. Kill everything to open the door at the far end of the arena. Defeat the three enemies in this section, talk to the trainer, and it's second boss time. The boss will turn to a a random player and perform Cold Stare. This is a large conal AoE. At the same time, the boss will drop a large black circular AoE beneath the player. Just move out of these to dodge them. When the boss starts casting Demon Eye, you'll need to interact with a shadowy orb. There are four of them on pillars around the arena. When you interact with this, you'll be inflicted with a blind debuff. Don't worry, this is intended. Because you are now blind, you won't be infected by the Demon Eye. If you aren't blind by the time Demon Eye finishes casting, you'll be inflicted with the debuff Terror and lose control of your character for several seconds. Anyone who has the Terror debuff will get the black AoE beneath them and it will be unavoidable for them. However, if no one is terrified, then the AoE will be random. The boss's Tainted Eye will become targetable and he will start casting room wide attacks that will inflict a Von Stack on all players for 10 seconds. He will continue casting room wides until his Tainted Eye has been destroyed. From here, the boss will repeat mechanics until it's defeated. Exit out of the gate and head up the incline to talk to the Elite Gladiator trainer to move to the next area. When you get to the top of the ramp, you'll come to an open room on the right with two walls and a Lullafell Lancer. Kill everything. Proceed through the newly opened path to the next open area where there'll be a Gladiator and a Conjurer. Focus down the Conjurer first since they will heal the Gladiator. When both have been defeated, the next path will open up. The next area will have you facing a Marauder and two Archers. When the Marauder starts casting Iron Tempest, it will create a small AoE around itself and bind itself to your party's tank and have Holmgang for 10 seconds. Just like a warrior with Holmgang, it cannot die. But continuing to damage it means it will be lowered to 1 HP, so it will almost immediately die after the effect wears off. After everything has been defeated, head through the final boss area. You'll be greeted by a small posse. Kill everyone. At some point, someone will spill orange juice on the floor. All enemies standing in this will get a damage up debuff, so drag the enemies out of this. When everything has been defeated, a Lalafell Black Mage and a Demon will enter the arena. It's best to focus the Lalafell first. The Demon will perform Tail Slash, which is a conal AoE behind it, and Heat Breath, which is a large conal AoE in front of it. It will also cast Fireball, which is a point blank AoE below a random player. The Lalafell will cast the move Standstill, which will cause two players to become binded to their position and will be tethered to an object called Thal's Scepter. Directly after that, the Black Mage will start casting Thal's Fury, which is a large AoE from the Black Mage's position. A free party member will have to interact with Thal's Scepter in order to free their fellow party members from the bind and avoid the large hitting AoE. After you defeat the Lalafell, the demon will just keep casting AoEs and auto-attacking until it's defeated. Congratulations, you have beaten Halatali again. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.